So I just got an error code 21 with the symbol for the manual to consult it and looking at the manual it's basically a light bulb on the left side of the car that is blown or something's wrong with. So let's take a look at the back of the car and see what's going on. Okay, I see a bulb here. Let's take a look on the other side, see if it's switched on. Oh yes, yes it is. You can see there are two light sources. And that bulb is switched on. But on this side it's not. There is a compartment here. Looks like we have to remove. Looks like we have to remove the the whole um, assembly. And so I have to undo also this one. But first, let me unplug the cable here. Okay, so just wiggling it out, I got out the light assembly. Okay, so it looks like this whole cover has to come out to access that one bulb which is here. So there are some clips, you can see them here. I just need to pry them a little bit to give me some space to lift out the cover. And just be careful because especially now that it's cold it's very easy to snap this This was hard to remove so I just undid the other sides and I will be able to now slide out from this side like this. Okay, so the bulbs are here. Looks like one fell off indicator light. Okay, so looking at the position this is the bulb that's blown. Yeah, you see? Let me show you what's holding it. Do you see that small hole? The bulb has a corresponding bulb, a um, small mound there, and that's preventing me from sliding this out. So I think I need a screwdriver just to pry open this lip, and I will be able to pull this out. Okay, so I didn't have a screwdriver, but I have my house keys and I just pried that open. And that allows me to remove the bulb. Okay, so let's see what's written on this bulb. It says 12 volt, 5 watt. Wood. Yes, that's it there. Wood, 12 volts, 5 watts. So if you don't have this exact replacement then you just take this to the shop and try to get get one exactly like this. So I personally always do. I have a set of spare bulbs. You can see it even has a couple it even has some fuses. So these kind of sets are very very useful. They will help you get up and running quickly especially if you're not if you're out and about. So let's see, I think this is the exact replica. Yes, it's a 12 volt, 5 watt bulb. Yeah, it's similar enough, it's good enough. Yes, like this, that the bulb catches into that small hole. 
and then with my house keys my improvised tool set I'm just going to push on that and get it back in place so yeah before we put this back in it's always good to give it a test so let me plug it back okay so you can see this is the flashing light we now have the bulbs both bulbs now working now to install everything back the way it was so just position the clips right above where they are going to rest in push in okay so all four are now done I'm going to put in the assembly from outside you see this has to go into this hole and the rest then go as usual let me just quickly get that done push it push it in into that hole and now all that's left to do is to screw back in these two of them plug in the wire the wire in harness and now we can test again and this is not working the indicator light so you have to be careful careful when you're placing it back inside that bulb wiggles itself out and uh, then you don't have the indicator light on that side so just remember I'm showing you this error I made and uh, just for you to pay attention so I'm going to quickly sort that out now and come back when it's done okay so just to quickly show you what I did this is where the indicator light slots into and you can see those two pieces of metal it wiggles itself out of there the bulb when you're pulling out also you should be careful with the others because they may get broken as you're removing them from the assembly so what I did was I squeezed together those two pieces of metal like this so that when I push in the bulb when I push in this bulb it catches and grabs on in a much more tighter way so that was the the fix for this and if you're doing this with the bulb when you, if you remove the assembly just go ahead and do it because as you drive through bumps and stuff this bulb just keeps wiggling itself out by itself and this way you can solve that problem or prevent it from happening okay so one more test now the indicator light is flashing and now we have both bulbs um, repaired, basically working again. So now I'm going to go inside and see if I still get that error code in the car. Oh, one last thing. That's it. Job done on the outside. Okay, so in the car now. The error code is gone. Let me make sure all the bulbs are working now. Okay, so both bulbs, this as well, indicator light is working. Indicator lights on this side. Okay, so we have all the bulbs working now so 
so now I'm going to go and replace some of these this can you imagine when I was removing out removing this that I just installed oh, where is it this look what happened I was removing the ins the um, whole assembly to try to put back in the indicator light and this bulb that I just installed uh, got just shared out of its case while removing the assembly so just be very careful and uh, this is the reason why you should always have more than one of these bulbs I'm going to go to the shop now and get a bit more again three I always have two or three sets of all the bulbs of the car and uh, this way um, if anything like this happens especially on the road for the main beams you just don't want to drive with one just one side it's very dangerous and for a couple of bucks and some time you can get that sorted so that was the first problem first challenge for 2020 it's just the seventh the sixth now and uh, as these challenges keep coming I'm just going to keep Aikido throwing them to the ground one by one and I hope you do the same too I hope this video helps thanks bye